hello and welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be doing a speed run for a, a environment render so the rules are you have to start with the default blender scene uh, once you delete the default scene your time starts you can use add-ons and assets uh, pre-modeled and everything but just don't use uh, pre-made scenes of course just importing a scene is uh, a little bit too easy and you can use blender kit which i have an affiliate link for uh, you can find in the description if you go there you can uh, get blender kit with 10 percent off so if that's something you like you can check the link in the description before you start you can save your blender file if you want so i'm going to hit a to select everything and then delete everything so i can begin so i'm going to add in a plane scale it up about 25 times ctrl a to apply all the transforms and subdivide it a bunch of times Go over to the modifier panel and search for displace and make a new texture and go over here and set it to clouds and then set the size to something like uh, 12 and then the depth to 24 and then we can go back into the displace modifier and play with the strength until we get something rocky just some nice variation maybe subdivide this once more and change the scaling again something like this I apply this and now with a blender kit i'm going to search for a house and this will give me free first if i select that here and now you can just import everything you want i'm going to go for something like this a wood house really nice all right it's imported really easily didn't take me any effort at all now i can go to rendered mode Switch to Cycles, GPU, turn on the default HDRI, and place my wooden house in the scene. It already has textures and everything, so that's really cool. Go to Edit Mode, Proportional Editing, and Scale on the Z axis to make a kind of plateau where our shack can sit on. Maybe try finding some more houses, like this. I think I'm going to go with that one. So we just have this. And just place that somewhere here in the scene. And set up our camera. Shift A to add in the camera. Control Alt and Zero on the numpad to snap it to our view. And just rotating it a little bit. I want to make this a lot farther away. I can try searching for trees. And there are a lot of nice trees here. Something like these pine trees by polyhaven which is really nice polyhaven also uploads on blender kit apparently i did not know that but that's really cool trees are imported we can hit alt g to reset their location and then move them down by minus 100 rotate it on the x-axis by minus one by what minus 90 and then go over to our plane here and add in a particle system with hair advanced rotation set this to global z a bit of phase and phase randomize and then a little bit of randomize not too much set the number to 100 set the render to collection and then we can just go over and go over to our trees make sure they are editable oh these are splines all right this is taking me a lot more time so this is not really usable for a speed run so i'm going to delete it and then just use botanic for the trees so i can go over here and add in some grass to the scene and limit it to the view with a vertex group assign Set this as the as the density in here, and then recalculate the density. Divided by two, we don't need that much, and this is already looking pretty cool. We can add in some more, like a barrels, maybe just a wooden barrel, something like that. Search for a table, a picnic table. And of course sort by free first but you don't have to 
I forgot to log in, so I don't have premium right now. I noticed these tables aren't really what I'm looking for, or maybe old. Trying to find some assets to put here. Old scan of the building. That's really cool. But not we. What we are looking for? Some crates. Yes. Old dining table. Yeah, that's really cool. Position it somewhere here. Make a small little path here. Something like this. And then just delete that from the group. Make that a little bit bigger. And also go over to weight paint modes and we can uh, get the weight from the selection. So you can make a new group and then just assign that and now we have this group and we could probably we can go over to blur and kind of blur this line a little bit so we get a path and then we can go over to vertex paint and then paint and then uh, vertex color from weight then go over to our shader editor and add in a new shader a new principal PSTF and then just mix that together and then what we can do is add in a sand texture here or just make it something uh, yellowish for now and in, then in the factor we can get a attribute node uh, or no the color attributes and then set this to attributes and then to the factor and now we have this path right here which is really nice you can make this a little bit darker make it brownish uh, rougher just to add some mud in here a musgrave texture to the bump Set this to height, then normal. Uh, increase this, this, and and then set this to the hue, saturation, and color. Copy this color over here. Set this to the factor and make this the value. So we get a little bit of darkness in here. Saturation as well. And maybe shift the hue a little bit. Now we have some a nice path going up to the house. We of course need some uh, trees as well so in botanic we can do that by spawning in some assets so these should just be trees and i'm going to go for a pine tree oh blender crashed okay that's going to cost us some time a hill for in the background to break up the horizon add in some trees move them down by 100 meters and rotate them on the x-axis by minus 90 degrees and now these can be our trees now we have to make a place for the trees to go so make this a vertex group assign this and then just set that as the density Go over to rendered mode. Let's see what we have. Okay, nice. In the background, we can just do this with the R plane active and then link the materials and control link the uh, modifiers as well. And I have to turn on screencast keys for you again. All right. This is what it looks like. Nice. We can move this up a little bit more. And uh, like that. We need to add in some more atmosphere. And some more things to the foreground. So some fences maybe. So let's see what we can find. This is really nice, but I am not logged in. So I can't use it. I should have thought of that before starting this video, but it is what it is. 
we need to find something that's free uh, so we can use that. All right, there's nothing. I have to log in. That was really fast. Okay, I'm in here. Now I can search for that, that one fence we had. Yeah, and import it. Nice. We can move it, rotate it, and then just place it in our scene. We have a fence like this. We could maybe add in like a football or a soccer ball, whatever you want to call it. Like this, a really old one. And then we can use this ball like here. Get the another one closer to the camera. Try looking for old again. Getting some inspiration maybe. Really quickly. We're on a speed run. We don't have all the time. Maybe this water well. Looks really cool. Okay. Import that. Water well. Make sure to not block the focal point as much. Can scale on the Z axis again to make a kind of plateau. Let's see what can we find. This old armchair maybe. Maybe add some more trees in here. And I think we might need to just wrap things up. Add some fog. So add in a cube. Add in some fog right here. Remove this. Go over to volume. And add in a volume scatter. Set the density to like 0.2 and the anisotropy to 0.95. Then if we go into rendered mode, it's really foggy, okay. Add a little less intensity, 0 0.02, and also add in a HDRI. This lighting looks pretty cool. So no fog cube, we can maybe add in a mist pass. Add in some more trees on here. Yeah, that looks really cool. Yes, okay. Stop the time. I think I went for like 30 minutes there. A really bad time. I was expecting like 15. But I didn't model anything. These assets are cool. This house is really cool. But yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to um, do some post-processing with this. This isn't cheating. I just made the environment. And now I'm going to post-process it. It's just a really fun exercise for you to try it as well. So I'd love to see your submissions. Send them to me over on the Discord or tag me in them on Instagram, whatever you want. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.